Hey guys, it's me, Mr. Casual. I hope everyone's having a great day. So this video is gonna be a really quick video talking about how um, Ali Abdelaziz, who's Kamar Usman's manager, is talking about a possible fight between Kamar Usman and Israel Adesanya after Kamar Usman fights Leon Edwards. And I think the Leon Edwards fight is gonna be somewhere like March or April or something. But Ali Abdelaziz, like he made it basically very clear, he wants Kamar Usman to move up after the Leon Edwards fight and then fight Izzy for the belt. And, and Ali Abdelaziz also revealed that Dana White wants that to happen as well. You know, and then I remember but the thing is, I remember Usman in an interview said, I would never fight my brother Izzy for any amount of money, etc., etc. He's my brother, I would never move up. But then, but then you have your manager saying the complete opposite. You know, it's, it's just a little weird, right? But it's, it's and also don't forget, like, the fighters' managers a lot of times speak for the fighter, like, the manager, you know, like Abdil uh, Ali Abdul Aziz a lot of times speaks. And says what the fighter wants to say, but they can't because of politics. You know, like if Usman came out and said, I want to fight Izzy, blah, 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 everyone would call Usman fake, right? Because Usman said he would never fight Izzy for any amount of money. So Usman can't just come out and be like, oh, yeah, yeah, I want to fight Izzy. You know, they'll look at Usman like he's greedy, like he's selfish, like he's not loyal, whatever. But if Ali Abdelaziz comes out and says, like, yo, I want to see this fight, Dana White wants to see this fight, whatever, so then all the blame will be, all the blame will never go to Usman. Because Usman's not the one that said it. Ali Abdelaziz is the one that said it. And then, I'll, then I'll, Ali Abdelaziz also made Dana White co-sign what he said as well. He's like, oh yeah, Dana said that too. Bro, literally, word for word, let me, let me tell you some words that Ali Abdelaziz said in an like, interview or something. Like, I'm reading I'm reading off one of these MMA news websites. Ali Abdelaziz like, was like, they're friends, but they're not best friends. And then he's like, it's not like they're training partners, but they are like, he, at one point, he, he, he ended up calling like, um, Usman and Izzy, um, African brothers, like, you know, and he was just basically implying like, yeah, they're close, they're cool, you know, but they're not like, like brothers, brothers like that, like, you know, they're not like best friends like that, you know, they're just really cool, you know, and they're good friends, you know, but like at the end, of the, and then all the adults, he's like, yeah, I'm greedy, I'm this, I'm that, and I want to see Usman, like, basically, you know, get the, get the second belt and become a double champion to make Usman like, you know, like, his, his legacy basically be set in stone that he was the greatest pound for pound because a lot of people were like like kind of arguing behind the scenes like in the comment section saying like how can Usman be pound for pound if he was never a double champion you know because he's pound for pound but DC was like a double champion and there's a lot of people a double champion Mano Nunes was double champion you know so Henry Cejudo was double champion Connor was double champion like so a lot of people were saying like how can Usman be pound for pound for pound when he was never even a double champion so that's that's like I, I don't blame you know Ali Abdelaziz for coming out that statement and wanting Usman to fight Izzy after the Leon Edwards fight. But at the same time, first off, you look first off, Ali Abdelaziz is looking past Leon Edwards. Like the Leon Edwards thing is the fight is not gonna be like a walk in the park. You know, Leon Edwards yeah, I get it. Usman beat Leon Edwards before in their first fight. But a lot of fighter that was years ago. Like I don't know how many years, but that was a long time ago. Now Leon Edwards got a lot better, you know. Just let's say like, for instance, same thing when Connor destroyed Dustin Poirier, right? In their first fight. And then years later, Connor rematched Dustin Poirier and he got and he got destroyed, right? The same thing could happen in the in the Leon Edwards fight. Like they're not taking Leon Edwards seriously, I don't think. They're already looking past Leon Edwards and they're looking at Izzy. Like, what if Leon Edwards ends up destroying Usman? You know, like because Leon Edwards is a really good fighter. So let's say Leon Edwards ends up destroying Usman. Then what? Like, then 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 like Ali Abdelaziz's plans are gonna go. You know, like the plan won't work anymore, you know? So he has to focus on Leon Edwards first before he even thinks about focusing on Izzy. And by the way, in my opinion, if Izzy and, and Leon and Usman were to fight, I feel like Izzy is like very slick. I feel like he would knock Usman out eventually. Like he would catch Usman with a punch and knock him out. Because let's not forget, Izzy and Usman, if it was a striking battle, Izzy would destroy Usman. But, but, so that's why I think Usman would end up wrestling Izzy and try to get him to the ground. The only way Usman will beat Izzy is if he wrestles Izzy and just gets him to the ground and holds him, holds him there and hugs him for like, not hugs him, but holds him there for like five rounds. That's the only way Usman will ever beat Izzy. Because Usman cannot, he's not a kicker, he doesn't kick like that. His boxing is good and he has a good jab, but like Izzy is on a whole different level of striking. If, and, you know, and Izzy is 6'4", you know, Usman's like 5'11", 5'10", you know, it's, it's tall, you know, 5'11", but like, we both we all know like Izzy's like you know he's six four he's a way better striker than Usman he'll destroy Usman on the feet you know it's just that's why I don't even know why they're, they're trying to rush to get to Izzy when they didn't beat Leon Edwards and then Izzy's gonna be a, is another person that I don't think Usman can really beat so like 
You know, I I, I appreciate the confidence Ali Abdelaziz has in Usman. I'm a, I'm a big Kamar Usman fan, but I'm also an Izzy fan. And I'm also a Leon Edwards fan. You, you know, I'm not biased. Like, I like all three fighters. I'm just being realistic, you know. Like, Usman can lose to um, Leon Edwards and Usman can lose to Izzy. You can't just look past fighters like, like, like you know, like you got it locked in the bag, you know. But anyways, yeah. And I don't, I don't think the fight has even been set for Leon Edwards' fight against Usman. I was trying to Google the exact date when the fight was going to happen. I couldn't even find the, the match. It hasn't even been, like, officially, like, you know, the date yet for Leon Edwards' fight. And they're already thinking about the Izzy fight. But it would be an interesting fight to see, like, two friends fighting. And, and, and also it would be interesting to see if Usman could become a double champion and be, get that Hall of Fame thing. Because that would be sick if Usman became a double champion, you know. But I don't know. It's like, I got I to gotta see what happens. Or like, you know, what if they make Izzy drop weight to 170 and fight Usman? That would also be interesting. But yeah, I was just shocked that like Ali Abdelaziz ended up making a statement saying like, yeah, we want to we want to fight Izzy. Because I, I remember Usman said the statement. He's like, yo, I'm not going to fight Izzy no matter for any amount of money. Now he just changed his mind, you know. I'm not trying to hate on Usman, you know. I'm just saying. It's like I was shocked when I seen that. Because I remember what you know, Usman said before in an interview. But Ali Abdelaziz, he literally said in an interview like, yeah, I'm greedy on this and that, you know. I don't care. I want, I want, I'm greedy because I want to see my fighter do good, blah, 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 which I understand. If you're a manager of a fighter, you want to, you know, you want the fighter's legacy to be like the top. He's also, you know, he, he Ali Abdelaziz is an amazing manager. Ali Abdelaziz is a really amazing manager, and he manages, like, the best fighters in the world, and all their careers are doing amazing, you know, so Huro, Habib, Usman, Rose, right? I, th I think Rose is managed by him, right? Like, but yeah, so he, he's obviously doing something right. He knows... Ali Abdelaziz is super smart. He's obviously doing something right. But anyways, guys, until next time, you know, please like, comment, subscribe. It's me, Mr. Casual. Take care.